Good day to you again, viewers. I'm so happy to be with you again today. My name is Bumi Adekola, a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Christ Love Assembly, Deed Court in Oxfordshire. Our topic of consideration today is He is knocking. That is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is knocking. Our Bible passage is taken from the book of Romans, the first two verses, and I read, Let every soul be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists the ordinance of God, and those who resist will bring judgment on themselves. May we not bring judgment upon ourselves because of resisting the authority put in place by the Most High God Himself. Our memory verse is Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. It's a popular one to all of us. It says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine with him and he with me. Our reflections now together. God is a very patient God. Imagine, I want to paint a scenario, or a dad in the Lord rather painted a scenario to us. Imagine somebody, a wealthy man, building a house, and then giving the house to somebody to occupy, and then the owner of the house comes in at a particular time and wants to gain access into the house he built with his own money. And the person, he said, I give this house to you. You can live in there for some time. And this person refuses to open the door to the owner of the house. If you were the owner of that house, how would you respond to the recalcitrant occupier? But that is exactly what you are doing if you refuse to allow God into your heart. The Lord created man in his image. He created us to give glory to his name. But often we choose to go our own way and refuse to heed his call. But because God is a merciful and compassionate God, he waits still at the door of our hearts and he continues there to knock. What a pitiable condition. Because he's a God of peace and God of justice, he will not force his way into your heart. He would expect you to open the door to him voluntarily. What is amazing is that he's not just coming to your heart as an idle guest. He is coming to you to come and dine with you. Imagine the God of heaven and earth, the Lord God Almighty himself, wanting to come and dine with you. Jesus extends the invitation to everyone in Matthew 11, 28 through to 30. He says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. In the book of Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18 to 20, he gives another invitation. Is this come now? Let us reason together, see at the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Well. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with a sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. There is a stern warning in the open heavens daily guide today to the fact that he, Jesus, is knocking at this time. Even at this time that we are having this telecast, he is knocking at the door of your heart. If you ignore his warning even today, when you will be knocking to enter into his kingdom at the end of your life's journey, don't be surprised if he refuses to open the door for you to go in. What you need to do as you open your heart to him is to give your life to him and accept him as the Lord and Savior. Today is the day of salvation. Is your heart open to the King of Kings today? And our prayer point is, Father, in any way I have shut my heart to you, I repent in dust and ashes. I open my heart to you today. If you have not yet taken this step today, ask him to come into your heart. 
to forgive you of all the resistance you had been putting up all of these years. Ask him to de dethrone everything that stands for unrighteousness and darkness from your heart. Ask him to enthrone himself at the, at the very center of your life. And I promise you, your life will never remain the same again. It is well with you in the name of Jesus. Have a lovely, lovely day. Bye and see you very soon. God bless you.